This is Eugen. All men for four members. Please respond. That signal is coming from nearby. Bobby, I'm going to the location of my team member's signal. You take care of the enemy. Affirmative. I'll follow the Vulcan signal coming from the opposite direction. Everywhere. The cell composition of the bucket tissue is a lot like the organic matter from the hatchery. The cells are simply rapidly and excessively dividing. To put it in human terms, it's like the thing. How did you open it? 
There should be a security device in front of the door. Shooting it should do the trick. More importantly, why is nobody responding? Mina, Ben, everyone, please, respond.
found evidence of large-scale focus production at the order of Truth's main base. Production scale is approximately 20 times larger than Albion's total forces. Also, missing medical corps members. All members confirmed to be KIA. Eugen, comms are unstable, but we have received your report. Please quickly return to Albion. Looks like those forces are already on the move. Corel's fleet has arrived. ready. Please assemble at HQ. I did wonder where all the manufactured Volgas went, but I never expected them to be battle ready this quickly. No matter how solid our defense line is at the White Knight Gulch against a force that large, we won't be able to protect the Ironheart. And because they've divided their forces, Albion is under threat as well. This is why the Volgas pulled their forces back from the White Knight Gulch to make us lower our guard, and to lure us into the White Knight Gulch with the Ironheart. We should head back to HQ. I'll take Dr. Han to the Medical Corps. Don't worry, I don't need any help. When I got him on his feet earlier, he wasn't heavy. He really is just like paper. I could probably carry him around, he's so light. Did you know that Eugen can't use his RK abilities on himself? He sacrifices so much for his teammates, and he can't even heal his own heart. I feel so bad for him. But I know he'll be fine. He has you and me, after all. His partners in arms. Don't worry about him. Let's head back. I'll see you soon. That's a promise. This is HQ. Again, all zones in Albion are on high alert. Any descendants who are operation ready should meet at HQ. Descendants, Corel's fleet has begun its approach. The predicted attack targets are the White Knight Gulch, where the Iron Heart is located, and Albion. HQ's predictions of the numbers of remaining Volgus forces have been completely inaccurate. <sighs> to mass produce that many troops so quickly. Corel lured us into a false sense of victory, 
Then use that to bring the Ironheart into the Vulgus' orbit. Also, after the phenomenon of the light beams near the Hagios, the dimensional wall has been weakening at an alarming speed. The closure of the dimensional wall and this diametrically opposite phenomenon. This might be due to the inversion that Corel spoke of. We're already seeing the Colossi being affected. Descendants, for now, please prepare for an intercept battle. According to Seneca's report, the pyromaniac Colossi are approaching Ingress. This truly is the worst case scenario. First Corral's fleet, and now the Colossi?
What is it now? The intercept of the pyromaniac has been confirmed. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the dimensional wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corel's great army or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the dimensional wall disappears. 
Strategy, tactics, troop numbers. We are at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Mel. We have one final option. Alpha? Got a question about the opera? As all of you know, the situation we find ourselves in seems pretty dire. Due to my lack of sound judgment, I fell for Corel's trap. The Ironheart, which I considered to be our only hope, turned out not to be the key to our salvation after all. If we had used the Ironheart in Albion as I stubbornly insisted, I dread to think what would have happened. This situation is one I created. I am solely to blame. Yes, I am the descendant who was always defeated. That is likely why I was never able to link with the Guide. I should never have become Commander. However, if there was someone who could heed the true calling of the Descendants, then I would let go of everything I have believed in up until now, and put my trust in them. Everyone, I am ordering the destruction of the Ironheart. I will deal with the Magisters. I believe they wouldn't be able to survive without us anyway. Descendants, you need to work with the Guide and carry out any and all necessary operations to destroy the Ironheart. No need to wait for approval from HQ. Just make sure you are as victorious in this as you always are. I'm sure that you will be, as you always have been. I place my trust in you, Descendant. Command, we must move quickly. We need to support the Descendants and stop the Vulgus at all costs. Descendants, I have heard Alpha's message. I am sorry I'm unable to directly communicate with him. Come with me, Descendants. It is our turn now. This is... Descendants, we are close to achieving our true target. However, as Alpha said, the situation is dire. We must hurry. First, it would be wise to move the Ironheart in the White Knight Gulch to Albion. Albion has put in place defensive measures to counter Vulgus battleships. We should also be able to access the energy required to destroy the Ironheart. But we need an immense amount of RK to detach an Ironheart which is linked to a Prime Hands. For this reason, most of the descendants must be sent to aid the detachment. For you, however, I have a different request. Descendant. Come with me, to where the phenomenon known as the Pillar of Light occurred. When that Pillar of Light took effect, as well as the energy of the Iron Heart, I felt a familiar kind of pain. As if my skin was peeling, and my flesh was melting. There must be an inverted Iron Heart there. Corel would have connected it to a Prime Hands in order to collapse the Dimensional Wall. We must stop this before the dimensional wall is completely destroyed. We must retrieve the inverted Ironheart. If we fail to do so, even if the Ironheart is immediately moved to Albion, countless colossi will appear throughout Ingress. However, if we take back the inverted Ironheart, the destruction of the dimensional wall will be stopped, and Corel's advance will be delayed. I will deliver the mission to detach the Ironheart to the other descendants. Please go now, to the place where the Pillar of Light was. I will meet you there, descendant. Guys, this is Jaeger. I've been dispatched to the Hagios. I'm investigating intel that Eamon, the General of the Legion of Immortality, was recently here. I don't think Eamon appearing at this point in time is a coincidence. I'm sure it's related to this incident. That is indeed unusual. I'll join you there, Jaber.
This is Jaber. I have clear reception. Mind if we skip the pleasantries, since we're short on time? If what the guide says is true, in order to retrieve the Ironheart that's here, there's something we have to understand first. The entry device to the Hagios Prime Hands was destroyed a long time ago, and neither we nor the Volgus could gain entry. But now they've just sauntered in there and connected the Ironheart to the Prime Hands. I think this whole thing has something to do with this intel on Eamon. Here. This is Zachary of the 22nd Recon Squad. A surveillance drone in the Hagios Corrupted Zone has tracked the movements of the high-ranking Vulgus, Eamon. We're unable to access the data remotely due to our signal being jammed. The surveillance drone needs to be retrieved for the data to be confirmed. Our recon squad has been scattered by a Vulgus attack. Request him backup. This communication was received by HQ a few hours ago. Not long after, a pillar of light appeared in Hagios, and Corel's fleet began to move. I think Eamon found something in the Corrupted Zone that allowed them to enter the ruins. Looks like we need to find Eamon before we can get the Ironheart. Don't you think I'm the best person for that job? With my RK ability? The other descendants can help with the mission to detach the Ironheart. No, Jaber. We all need to go together. You should focus on your capabilities, while we handle the battle missions. It would be wise to gather intel on the nearby area first. We will need the recon squad's help to establish Eamon's location. Oh, well, this suddenly turned into a cooperative mission. Uh, well, I guess it should be fine. So long as I don't have to work with loud people like Blair. Sending out a signal from these coordinates. The recon data needs to be collected before it's erased. If we don't go and get it, that hard won data will be lost. Retrieval of recon data. Please continue with the operation as originally planned. Descendant, dispatch a search drone. Request an escort for the search drone and investigation of traces of the scattered recon members. I'll operate turrets to keep the surrounding area secure, and I'll leave the escort. Oh! 
receiving damage alerts from the drone. Please protect it. found something worth analyzing. Hold your position and protect the drone. Thanks. What I need is the Recon Squad surveillance data. Roger that. You don't seem to be very friendly with your teammates, Jaber. Well, we're all just pieces on the chessboard of war. We can be best buds after we've won. 